Good morning students. In this revision session, I will explain the main concepts of this chapter, lesson number 5, Lines and Angles. So, all of you are ready. Let us begin. Good morning students. Now, in this revision session, I will explain related angles, types of lines, angles made by transversal and checking for parallel lines. Okay, so should we start with the first topic? Come on, let us begin. Students, now we will revise complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, linear pair of angles and vertically opposite angles one by one. Understood children? Now the first one is complementary angles. Students, come on tell me what is the sum of measures of two complementary angles? Anybody? Yes, I know. Everybody knows this answer. What is that? It is 90 degree. Correct. So, when the sum of measures of two angles is 90 degree, the angles are called complementary angles. Here in the figure, you can see Measure angle A plus measure angle B is equal to 90 degree, correct? And they are said to be complement to each other. Angle A and angle B are complement to each other. Clear children? Understood? The next one is supplementary angles. If the sum of measures of angles is 180 then they are said to be supplementary angles you know children this is it or not now here in the given figure again you can see that measure angle a plus measure angle b is equal to 180 degree and they are said to be supplement to each other that means May angle A is supplement to angle B and angle B is supplement to angle A. Clear children? All of you understood this? Students, now I will explain adjacent angles. Come on children, tell me which type of angles are called adjacent angles? Anybody? Now, over here, see that two angles are said to be adjacent angles if there are three conditions. First one is they have a common vertex. Second one is they have a common arm. And third one is non-common arms are on either side of the common arm. Now children, here in the figure, you can very well see that. Which are the two adjacent angles? Correct. A and B. And now children, tell me, which is a common vertex? O. Correct. And which is a common arm? O, C. Yes. And which are the other two non-common arms? They are OD and OE. They are Ray OD and Ray OE. Understood children? They are not on the same side of Ray OC. Clear children? I hope all of you have understood this. Students, now linear pair of angles. What does the definition say? A linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays and the angles are supplementary. Now students, you can see here in the given figure which is a common arm. 
करेक्ट ट्रे ओ सी एंड विच आर द अदर टू आर्म्स और रेज यू कैन सी इन द फिगर रे ओ डी एंड रे ओ ई दे फॉर्म अ पेर ऑफ अपोजिट रेज अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रेन एंड एंगल ए एंड एंगल बी आर पेर ऑफ लीनियर पेर ऑफ एंगल्स अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रेन क्लियर एंड द सम ऑफ मेजर्स ऑफ लीनियर पेर ऑफ एंगल्स इज हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्री दैट मीन्स मेजर एंगल ए प्लस मेजर एंगल बी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्री अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रेन क्लियर एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स when two lines intersect each other at a point four angles are formed the pairs of angles that opposite to each other are called vertically opposite angles here in the given figure you can see that line l and line m are intersecting each other at one point and four angles are formed angle a angle b angle c and angle d clear children and children please keep it in mind that the measures of vertically opposite angles are equal that means Major angle A is equal to major angle B, and same way, major angle C is equal to major angle D as they are vertically opposite angles. Clear, children? Students, now I will explain types of lines. The first one is intersecting lines. lines are said to be intersecting lines if they have a common point now children here you can see in the figure line l and line m are intersecting each other at point o so o is a point of intersection clear children understood the next one is transversal a line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points is called a transversal now in the given figure line l and line m are two lines and line t is intersecting line l and m at two distinct points so line t is a transversal of line l and line m clear children i hope you have understood this and the last one is parallel lines two lines are said to be parallel if they do not intersect each other at any point understood children here in the figure you can see line l and line m and please keep it in mind please remember that the distance between the parallel lines will always remain the same understood children clear students now i will explain angles made by a transversal now students you know that when a transversal intersects two lines eight angles are formed so let us discuss the types of angles made by a transversal clear the first one is interior angles before that just see the figure yes l and m are two lines and t is a transversal and you can see the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 eight angles are formed clear 
so over here interior angles come on children now you know that which are interior angles correct they are angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 and angle 6 are interior angles now tell me exterior angles very simple yes angle 1 angle 2 angle 7 and angle 8 are exterior angles understood children now next one is pairs of corresponding angles here children come on tell me how many pairs of corresponding angles are formed exactly four pairs of corresponding angles are formed clear children now which are they angle one and angle five angle three and angle seven angle two and angle six and angle four and angle eight are the pairs of corresponding angles understood children clear the next is pairs of alternate interior angles over here tell me who will tell come on angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles same way angle 4 and angle 5 are also alternate interior angles clear children understood the next is pairs of alternate exterior angles angle 1 and angle 8 and angle 2 and angle 7 are the pairs of alternate exterior angles and the last one is pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal so children you can see there are two sides left hand side and right hand side so angle 3 and angle 5 and angle 4 and angle 6 are the pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal clear children i hope you all have understood it students now the last topic is transversal of parallel lines and checking of parallel lines students you know that when a transversal intersects two parallel lines at two distinct points each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure each pair of alternate interior angles are equal in measure each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary clear children this you know that now the second one is when the lines are said to be parallel to each other when a transversal intersects two lines such that pairs of corresponding angles are equal pairs of alternate interior angles are equal and pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary the lines have to be parallel understood children clear i hope this revision session help you to clear your doubts please revise it once again have a nice time and thank you so much